Just regarding some of the players who still haven't travelled out here, what, what's the situation with Mason Mount? Because he got a knock the other week, but he's he's still not available. Uh, take a little bit longer as we expected. It's true, but um, I think he will be back soon. Ten, ten players missing for this game, but are you still confident of getting a positive result tomorrow night? Yes, of course. If the players who are available have to do the job and we are capable and they are capable to do the job. Hi, Rick. We were speaking to Jose Mourinho earlier and he said it would be Man United against 35,000 Fenerbahce fans. How much of a test is it for your team to come through that kind of environment, that kind of hostility? particularly without Bruno in the team tomorrow? Yeah, I think we have enough players in the team. They are so experienced, so our team is experienced. We faced uh, such situations more often. So yeah, I think we're looking forward. It will be a great ambience um, that's fuel for, uh, for the team. Um, it's a really challenge, a really so motivation, and yeah, it's really good for us. Ee, sorum Erik Tanego olacak. Ee, Manchester United'ın Avrupa Kupalarındaki son başarısı Jose Mourinho ile gelmişti. Bu sebeple yarın Mourinho'nun Fenerbahçe'sine karşı oynayacak olduğu karşılaşmada farklı bir motivasyonları olacak mı? Teşekkürler. in Europe yeah but we, well, yes that's true uh, so we won domestic cups um, after he left but we didn't um, Man United didn't win in Europe and it's also for us it's a, it's a target uh, what we want to achieve and yeah we have a big opportunity this season uh, but therefore of course we have to qualify we have to win games it's in a new setup uh, we are now uh, two games uh, in the way uh, yeah, we have two points, so we know, we know what to do, and we have to win games. Hi, Christian, good to see you. Um, in your first season under Eric Ten Hag, you played so many games in that starting midfield at Manchester United, and in the second season, not so much so. This season, you're starting to get some great form, you've scored some good goals, you've, you've been contributing to the team really well. What have you put that down to, and, and how happy are you to now be playing again in the Manchester United midfield? No, yeah, I think every season is different. I think some seasons you're playing, some seasons you don't. And obviously with the injuries I had, uh, was a bit in and out at the time in the last two seasons, but I've always been available uh, when I'm fit. Uh, and of course, like you said, I enjoy playing for United in midfield, definitely. Of course, as a player, you want to play as much as possible. But in the end, it is a manager who takes the decisions on who's playing and uh, you do your best when you can. How difficult it is, depending on what tactical setup we've had. So on the weekend, we're in a 4-4-2. We like to deploy a 4-2-3-1 for you. Do you feel your best as a six, as a number 10, as a number eight? Where, where are you most comfortable in that midfield? Uh, first, you know our tactics or 4-4-2? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh, no, uh, I think uh, for me, it doesn't matter what system you're playing. I think uh, every game is different. I think every game you're going to see a so-called 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2, 4-5-1. You're going to see all of it, I think, in in times uh, on the game and in the game, but I'm just happy where the ball is. Eric, one of the criticisms that Jose Mourinho levelled at United when he left the club was that they weren't considered an elite European team any longer. That hasn't really changed. Why do you think you found it so difficult to win games in Europe and how close are you to getting them back to that elite level? Uh, this season, we just started, we have two, two draws. First season, I think we won a lot of European uh, games. So um, last season, obviously, it was for and domestic and um, also in Europe. It was a difficult, difficult journey, but we are confident. Um, we are confident we are capable to do this, to, to win games um, and in the Premier League and in Europe. Christian, have you, have you played in Turkey before? And is the atmosphere here different to most other places? Every game that I've been to here, the atmosphere before the game, for a long time before the game, is, is quite intense. Uh, yeah, I have played in Turkey. It's a lot of years ago uh, with 
Denmark uh, when that's on team uh, against Turkey. So I know what it's like to play in Turkey, but obviously I missed the uh, Galatasaray last season, uh, where I think we saw uh, close by how the atmosphere could be. And I think the Fenerbahce game tomorrow will be very similar. But like the coach said, I think we enjoy playing in these environments. And I think when you, after a few minutes of the game has been going on, I think you just continue playing football. And uh, yeah, it's nice that people are, are following it and giving it a, a bit of a, a good atmosphere at the same time. Sorum Erik Tenega olacak. E, Tivoli Spor, Çiğdem Günal. İstanbul'a hoş geldiniz hocam. E, geçtiğimiz sezon sonunda takımınızı FA Cup zaferine taşımıştınız. Ama bu sezonki biraz kötü olan başlangıcın ardından biraz eleştirilerin e, odağı olmuş durumdasınız. Fenerbahçe'de de istediği gibi çok iyi bir başlangıç yapamadı. Dolayısıyla e, Mourinho'da bu ara biraz eleştirilir durumda. Bu maçın hem sizin için hem e, teknik direktör Mourinho için kritik bir öneme sahip olduğunu düşünüyor musunuz? Teşekkür ediyorum. <gülüyor> yes, and Mourinho and I, we won a lot of trophies in the last years. But you have to prove yourself every year. And when you don't win, uh, we are always uh, in the criticism. And we know that uh, we are experienced enough. Um, professional footballers about winning games. Um, when you don't win games, then the criticism is coming. But in the end of the day, we know also hey, it's it's about how you are in the end of the year. And Mourinho is so experienced, he will lead his team uh, to his best form and will be successful and so we will, we will be. Uh, we are convinced that we are in the right direction, that we follow the right path and we will achieve uh, what, we, what our targets are. Sorum hocaya olacak. Öncelikle Türkiye'ye hoş geldiniz. E, Mourinho bugün basın toplantısında Manchester United ve Tottenham'ın Avrupa Ligi'nde favori iki takım olduğunu söyledi. Siz Fenerbahçe hakkında ne düşünüyorsunuz? Our Fenerbahce is, is very good team uh, with, with a lot of good players. Uh, we know some. Um, uh, Fred, uh, long time at Manchester United, very experienced. Uh, we won with him the Carabao Cup. Uh, Sufyan Amrabat, uh, we won with him the FA Cup, very experienced, also very good in World Cup. Dusan Tadic had a, a long history with him at Ajax, won also a lot of trophies with him. So, Jago, so they have so many experienced and good players and they have an experienced coach so yeah, this is a f um, very good place very we will not underestimate them but also not overestimate them and we have to play our own game um, we as we said we love to play in this environment we're really looking forward and we're always looking forward against good teams because that uh, therefore uh, we became professional footballer to go for these challenges Christian, following the match against FC20, you spoke and you said it wasn't right for Manchester United to not have the same desire as the FC20 players. Have you noticed a shift in the spirit and the mentality in the dressing room since that game? Uh, yeah, I think I have. I think the the confidence obviously is, uh, is a big part. I think when you draw, when you lose, I think the confidence is down a bit. And I think also when I spoke at the time, I was probably here at the moment after you, you felt like you were winning the game and you lost or you felt like you lost but it was a draw obviously uh, but I think since I, I do feel like the, the group is getting together and uh, yeah we played some good games since and uh, obviously we want to win every game possible and when you play at United I think it's, uh, it's the aim and uh, that's what we're going to go for no matter what. Do you still want to play here next season? I know obviously your contract is up at the end of the season and there's talks that you might be leaving would you, would you still want to play at Manchester United next season if the contract was there? Yeah, more or less, it's not really up to me. When my contract runs out, I think it's up to the club and the position. But no, I, I really enjoy my time. I have done for the last few years and uh, I still do. So when the summer comes, I think with the offer is there from them, I'll definitely take it serious. Thank you. Eric, as um, has already been mentioned, you, you're missing quite a few players for tomorrow night's game. Um, but this is a competition that offers a route back into the Champions League. How complicated is it for you to juggle uh, or attack this competition, given the you know the injury uh, situation. It is complicated, but um, it is never easy that you you know on forehand, and uh, we have to deal with it, and we will deal with it um, as a team. Uh, we have to cover many games in, in a short time, and yeah, we will do that the best as possible. Uh, we have to progress. Uh, 
uh, I think we made a good step and now we have to follow up tomorrow and then we have to go again on Sunday. But yeah, players like to play football instead of do training. And so for, for the players, is this the best? It's the best way it is. So many games coming up and as team is also an advantage. As long as you have players available uh, enough, then uh, that you can construct a team and that you don't have to go into big risk, uh, injury risk, then it's the best to play games. And in this moment, we are still okay. But yeah, we uh, hopefully we don't get 